All right, let's practice this final MOS certification objective 5.3 for this Microsoft Exam 77420. To be an Excel Microsoft Office specialist, you have to know how to insert and format objects, including pictures, text boxes, and smart art. Let's begin by finding a picture from the internet. So just for fun, I'm not going to use Google, I'm going to use Bing, and I'm going to type in World Cup 2014. And let's see what kind of images come to uh, bear here. I'm going to click on images and notice how there's a nice image here. And what I'm going to do is you could click on it, get a nice large image. You can right click, copy this image. And if you paste it into your Excel document, you can see that it's quite large. So something just to know it's very useful is uh, being able to download some kind of screen capture type utility. And there's many free ones available, but one of the most popular commercial ones is this program called Snagit. I have a hotkey set up such that I press print screen and this nice cross here appears. I'm gonna click and drag. And the beauty of this is that this image is very small. So when I paste it, Bam, right away, I don't have to worry about resizing. I don't have to worry about this Excel file being very large. It's perfect for my needs. So let me cut it. Control X is a nice shortcut to know. I'm going to create a new sheet here. And I just want to show you that I can paste this image anywhere I want. So I'm going to click in this cell here. I'm going to paste it. And notice how if I click on this cell here and I paste it, it goes, uh, the picture goes to the cell that I highlighted. And of course, if you want to move the image, you can click on it, drag it, you can align it wherever you want. And it's nice to know that you can move it very quickly with the mouse, or you can even use the arrow keys to do your final nudging. And an interesting thing is that if you hold down shift, and you press the left and right arrows, shift right grows it, and shift left shrinks it it's very, very quick. Uh, way of doing things and of course you can always rotate it by clicking on this little icon here as well and so now I'm going to insert a text box we can go to insert menu and look for the text box button here and here's a text box and if you click on it of course you can click and drag a nice text box I can say this is a text box I can highlight it by double clicking or even triple clicking to highlight the entire paragraph or pressing control a to highlight everything you could change the font i'm going to change it to arial black which is very dark and you can change the font size here 20 or you can even press control square bracket my apologies never mind that's only for microsoft word so this here is a nice um, the ability to change the font right here, right in, in the context of where you're editing this uh, text here. You can center it. You can change the color to red or any other color here, dark blue. You can resize it. You can rotate it. There's so many wonderful things you can do. You can even press Control Z to undo quickly. What if you want to change the formatting of this box here? By the way, when you're moving this box, and sometimes people will struggle because they click on it and nothing's moving. It's nice to click on the edge. So if I click on the edge here, the edge of the box, then I can use my arrow keys for precision or I can just click and drag the edge to move it quickly this way. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to size and properties. And of course you can manually change the height and the width. So if I want to make the height a bit uh, bigger, I can say make this a five centimeters or five inches. So I'm just gonna choose five centimeters, enter. You can see what happens is this text box becomes a lot bigger. And of course, as a good refresher, you know that you can even center things using middle line, which just drops it in the middle like this. So I'm just gonna leave that up to the top here and I'm gonna resize things again. And of course, we know that we can format objects by clicking on the objects, go to format. You can play with the fills and we've done this before. There's a nice gradient here and different colors and 
I'm just going to choose a simple yellow for now. Okay, all in or nothing, we can finish this. The last thing we're going to do here is going to insert a nice smart object. So let's go to insert. And you can see here, this is where the shapes are and this little chevron thing here is the smart object. So if you find yourself using a lot of these uh, things frequently, of course, as a little reminder, it's nice to be able to right click the button and add to the quick access toolbar, which is right up here. So by doing that, you can just very quickly just click on it and insert a, a text box or a smart object or a shape very quickly. So in this case, we're interested in finding a nice chevron. So you can see that there's different categories of different diagrams that's very beautiful and all pre-made. But uh, just by choosing all, if I just go page down here by clicking here, and I can see this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the vertical chevron list. Click on that and click on OK. So this here is a pretty nice looking uh, list here. And I'm just going to click on the edge here so I'm gonna, I can move it. I'm going to move this uh, other text box out of the way here. I'm just going to actually delete it. Press the, the delete button. Okay, so don't uh, make the mistake of moving one thing. Press Control uh, Z to undo. Just uh, click the edge here uh, to move everything all together. So what can we say here? And as you're editing this nice Chevron list, it's nice to be able to just click into any box and just type in as you go. Uh, fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Sounds familiar? Yoda would know that about this. You can just click on this nice arrow here and you can see that it might be a bit um, more natural to be able to edit uh, using uh, this method here. I'll just type in here, fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. And uh, the beauty of this button here that you can click on is that you can just press enter, you can press shift tab to automatically change the indentation of the bullets. And uh, I can type in sadness. So sadness, and then I can just type in press enter and press tab to add some more bullets. I can say one, two, three, and everything just changes very rapidly. It's very seamless without having to worry about ruining all these tables here. So here is a nice smart art table. You can even change the colors here. You can change it to multicolors here, or let's play with the uh, drop-down box here and see what more options there are. There's a nice kind of a 3D look to these kind of things here. It looks pretty, quite advanced. I'll just leave it plain, keep it simple and beautiful. And what's interesting here is that if you click on the edge of this nice uh, smart box box here, you're referring to the whole thing. So for example, if you go to format and choose shape fill, you can see that you're changing the fill of the background. Whereas if you click on the individual box here, so if I were to click off of this and then click back on the first box, let's see what happens when we go to shape fill. You can see it only changes one color, quite interesting. And another thing that's interesting is that if you click on this first box and then hold shift, you can actually choose, uh, select multiple boxes at the same time. So when you go to format and you play with the fill, you end up changing two at the same time. But this is for the most part overkill and getting the job done using one of the nice well thought out templates should be good enough. So this is great. We worked through a lot of the objectives in terms of the hands-on examples. We just need to practice some more test type questions. 
and then tackle into the realm of the expert certification objectives.